Howdy there folks, it's your boy Ricky, and we are back with another Naruto Online video. So, the events have just come up, I am probably the first person and the only person on this server who is awake at this time. To do some scouting, as I like to say. I like to see the events before anybody else does. So, it's very disappointing for me. It's very disappointing because I, I will just get the big thing out of the way. We have Naruto Sage of the Six Paths Breakthrough, which I don't have him four stars, so I can't really show you him. I know you guys are going to fucking roast me about it. Like, oh my god, Ricky, you spend so much on this fucking game and you still don't have an almost, what, one or two year old ninja breakthrough? Yeah, I don't have him. So, Naruto Sage of Six Paths skill trial I don't really know where to start with this but I am disappointed because of just how fucking cancer this is I mean this is six pass an tell he's gonna become meta again I mean with his breakthroughs he's pretty he's like one of the most busted units I've ever seen so at plus two for his normal mystery it's deals damage three combo and interruption up to 12 enemy units and he enters explosive mode level 2. And not only that, actually, he also increases that unit's mystery cooldown by 1. Which is just, you know, cherry on top. But during explosive mode level 2, his combo rate is increased by 60. Which is doesn't really matter since he already has a high chance to lower his cooldown. And whenever he causes ninja 2 damage, he heal himself for 35% of the damage dealt. Which is pretty big. Um, if you stack this with Fire Main, that's almost 50% that he heals back. And if you have a super stacked position 1, super stacked Ashura, uh, you're pretty much, this is going to be a 10 round fight if it's against another stacked Ashura. There's no way out of it. Um, that's, really there's not too much of a change here. And Y plus 1, I can't even... I can't even read it actually. Like it, it cuts off. But it's ten, it's twenty chakra points less. That's all it is. And also, it's unavoidable damage causes sixteen combo and also suppresses super armor. So very good against Renegon Sasuke. Very good against Shark Kisame, which is running rampant these days. Deals eighty percent splash damage to two unit to to units two grids away from the selected unit. And then he entered explosive mode level 2, which I'm assuming is the same as plus 2. So between the two, I would say the Y plus 1 mystery is definitely more important. Um, unless you want to have the mystery cooldown, or the mystery increase. Which, again, if you're going against another stack, Naruto, this is not going to matter because he's just going to lower his cooldown anyways. But this can definitely counter Rinnegan, Sasuke, Kisame. Uh, I can't think of other super armor ninjas that we use but this is pretty insane and it's 20 chakra less so if you are faster it's pretty much gg just like running with edohashi or uh, anybody who steals chakra so five kage madra or something like that and you can pretty much mystery spam every single round as long as you're faster and your enemy would never even have a chance Moving on, plus two planetary Rasengan. Uh, deals unavoidable damage to four units and causes five combo and reduces his own mystery cooldown. So it's unavoidable. That's already a problem because if you're using someone like Kimimaru who has a double dodge for standard attacks, this is not going to matter. Uh, Minato is going to be pretty much a, it's gonna be pretty much useless against him. Even Indra. Who has double dodge is going to be useless against this attack so that sucks but it pretty much stays the same his chase is nothing too spectacular at plus two he increases his damage by 30 percent and cancels buffs and shields and it can just be triggered twice uh y plus one he decreases the resistance by eight percent and then cancels you in this buff and shield uh, this would be really annoying to deal with if you pair him with the actual Asura. So position 1 Naruto with Asura Ozotsuki as position 2 since he uh, increases chase time. 
you could easily get about by round three like a 30 percent resistance decrease if you could survive that long of course plus two on his passive naruto has a high chance of evading one attack and has a 50 percent evasion against stand attack so pretty much edo minato and Y plus one, if you don't want him to evade standard attacks, you can evade chase attacks. 75% is pretty high, so that's almost a guarantee that he dodges it every time. So he's going to be hard to deal damage against. Uh, people who are standard heavy, Ronin, Naruto, Kakazu, is not going to be very effective. And really, this last passive is what really makes him a busted unit, in my personal opinion. This just makes him insane. So at plus two, he's immune to debuffs. Additionally, at even number of rounds, he releases his mystery skill, uh, which is unavoidable and doesn't cause, but which is unavoidable but doesn't cause knockdown or interruption, but it still causes damage, which is fucking annoying. But really, it's the Y plus one. Um, this is what makes him insane. So he's immune to debuffs. And additionally, whenever Naruto executes a standard attack, it increases his own ninjutsu by 15%. And whenever an enemy uses their mystery, he gains an extra standard attack, which is just fucking insane. So the man is pretty much, he's a one-man army. It's pretty much a summer Kakashi, except on steroids. 15% um, ninjutsu increases a lot. Especially for each standard attack, that's a lot. Um... Which I think you can stack it with Killer B. So like if you use Killer B and then the enemy team uses like, let's say, especially in Great Ninja War, let's say they use like uh, six mysteries. That's going to be seven times he can attack with his standard. It's, <laughs> it's going to be over. That's If it's a super stacked Asura, it's over. I mean, you would get, you would get Blitz round one easily. And he wouldn't, the person wouldn't even have to use the mystery. You could literally just sit there. Um, you just use mysteries, he scales from your mysteries, and it's pretty much GG. Uh, so, that's what made me disappointed, is that they released them. They just released it, this crazy, insane breakthrough. There's going to be a big meta shift, because it's been mostly Kimimaru and Kisame. Those round one blitz teams, and now it's going to go back to ten round fights. Luckily, it's no longer going to be... Kisame online or Kimamaru online. It will be Naruto online but My personal opinion is if you can four star him I would four star him because he's he's not gonna be beaten for a while. I don't think I don't think there's gonna be many counters against this Maybe Rinnegan Sasuke with his fear passive But this is this is gonna be difficult to beat It's be very difficult to beat but anyways, so that's uh, Naruto Six Pads Breakthrough. Let's go into the event. So we have Infinite Tsukiyomi. It lasts for another four days. It ends at the end of the month. So February 28th. Total Recharge Rebate. You know, it's the usual items. It's nothing too crazy. Then here for the prize ninja, we have Zabuza Wandering Ronin or Anko Swimsuit. Um, which... I don't know why you would go for Anko Swimsuit over Ronin, but, you know, maybe you want sexy Anko, so she's here if you want her. And Zabuza is also here. So 30k Ninja, he's probably going to be about 20k redeemable as coupons when he first comes out. So this is here. Everything's the same. It's, I mean, uh, it's not crazy great, but it's also not bad. Eno's Flowers, Eno's Gift Package 3, that's going to give you, I think, uh, 20 Madara Tentail Frags, Takajugo or Sugetsu, and I'm definitely missing some other ninjas. Fresh Flower Gift Packs at 2nd and 3rd, it, it's it's the same, it's the same prizes. Um, we have to recharge 15k ingots and you can get onto here. Colored Banner Gift, this is also the same. Uh, let's see the prices here. Cultivation pack for 240. That's not too bad, actually. It was 270 in 
amusement park for some goddamn reason. Charmed material, optional pack. Yeah, this is okay. They also have Takajugo, which um, I recruited him, but never have never used that man, so he's pretty much permanently on bench. Time limited shop. You know, this really made me t this really made me disappointed. Um, I was hoping they would put six past Naruto in here because I'm going to be going for Froggy, and they didn't put him in here, so this made me very sad. There's not many choices to choose from. Um, Nine Tails, Chakra, Naruto is pretty much useless. Kimono Atachi, he would actually he would actually be okay against a six pass Naruto since he stopped anyone from using standards. Um, that's okay. He's 260 ingots per fragment, and then Summer Kakashi. Um, I could go after him. I think I'll have enough because I have like 20 fragments of him now. So I think I would have enough, but there's really no use for me. There's really no use. It would just be for collection purposes. I would never use them. So that leaves only two things. Or three things. Refine optional packs, ninja assist, or secret school optional packs. And I'll probably go for ninja assist. But uh, this is here if you want it. Great plates. This is actually pretty good. We've got Shark Kisame and Edo Tobirama as well as Edo Roshi. With the usual refinement runes. This is always great. And I will put up the... I'll put up all the stuff at the end. The prices and everything. So if you want to skip, you can. But the Great Plate gift pack should be the same as the last one. I, I don't know what's in it. But Great Plates is always a good deal, especially since Six Pass Naruto is skill trials out. Um, this is going to be the best source of advanced protection files and the experiment files. I wouldn't spend into anything else. If you need to get vials, protection vials, then I would only spend into Great Plates. It's a great deal. So Great Plates. Time limited ninja recruitment. This is still here. We've got a lot of ninjas to choose from. Uh, Rinnegan Sasuke or Naruto Six Pads. Kakazu to get to. Or you can get one training potion. No, this is one of the rare times that they actually only let you redeem one training potion, which is kind of crazy. And Secret Scroll optional packs. Refinement Rebay is here. Uh. Cultivation limited rebate. I've never really spent into this. I mean, it's it's pretty useless to be honest. I don't I don't know. Miyaboku trial. I actually really like this event, to be honest. I think everyone likes this event. If Oasis took away this event, um I'd be fucking pissed. And I'm sure just by everybody watching this video would be pissed. Wheel of offerings. 100 coupon spin is always good. Um, I wouldn't buy anything after 100 coupons though, because it's just a waste of money. But the first spin's okay. The first spin's okay. Canola special sales. This is going to be the last thing. Um, the rewards are okay. They're okay. You do get two ultimate essences though, which is actually pretty goddamn good. For how much? 5,000... 12k? That's actually pretty good, holy shit. Because I kind of always skimmed over this event, but I never really looked into it. But that's pretty goddamn good. Okay, this second this second day is pretty whack though. Three, op three refined packs. Super value secret scroll pack, that's good. And then secret scroll optional pack, but see day, I would say day, day three, four, and five are pretty good to be honest. But this is here. We've got the ingot only shop, which has the same things. It always has ninja assist secret scrolls. 
um, 1,000 ingots for one fragment of Madara, and then 1,000 ingots for Asura, which is actually new. I don't think I've ever seen them sell Asura in the Kanoa special sale. So this is going to make him the same cost as the man, Madara Ten Tails. And then we have Karin for 500 ingots. So, those are the events for this week. Um, oh yeah, Kanoa's Great Tree, of course. Of course. Let's claim that. So we got the usual here, Shisui, Madara, Obito, and Kabuto. With the Ninja Sis packs and the Secret Scroll packs. So you can spend in here if you want. Uh, what does it give you? Now, Great Chi is okay. I mean, I feel like it's kind of overpriced, though. And you don't get the greatest stuff from it. What I would really like is if they let us stay on a level. Like, shit, if they let us stay on this level here for the Epic Refine runes, instead of forcing us to go to move up the level that we're on, this would, like, be perfect. Yeah. But this is here. So that concludes the event. Alright. So, the last event on this list is going to be Froggy. You guys already know I'm going to be getting this. Um. Oh shit, they actually, they increased the cost? What the fuck? Oh shit. When did they... They just did this, because last Froggy was like 9k. They increased it to 12... Dude, that's like... Why the fuck would they do that? Yo, come on. Yo, give me a second. That gives you 30 thousand coupons for an extra sixty dollars because 9k plus 3k no that's kind of wild though nah bro it was a way better deal doing it doing it with uh 9k and 5k because with 9k and 5k alone you could get 35,000 coupons, I think. So this is, this would be, this would cost me 17k. Well, no, this would give me like 40,000 coupons. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm still going to do the 12k anyways. But I might not do anything else, to be honest, because 12k, 30k is already enough. Holy shit. Alright, anyway, so Froggy's here. We're gonna do this real quick. Um, stay tuned for the Indra video. That's gonna be later this week. 83,000 ingots in. I only need to do like $120, and we're gonna get the boy Asura. And, uh, fuck, I keep calling him Asura. I mean Indra. As well as Susano Shisui. But uh, let's buy the Froggy right now. Yeah. Alright. So that just that gives us 8k off the bat. We can spend in time limited shop. Okay, um I need to I need I need I need, I need to think here. I need to think. Of course I'm gonna do the refine. Cause I put the goal into. Yeah. Oh shit, no, it's not. Okay. Um Oh, I don't know what to go for. Cuz I've already got two secret scroll plate fragments, so I'm not gonna go for more scroll plates. It'd just be a waste. Um, I need to see how much this all costs. So critical hit. Okay. Oh, 
Well, I can only claim two more, so I guess we'll just claim all of it then. Yeah, let's level that shit up. gonna be enough of course it's not gonna be enough I'm not gonna spend my coupon so I'm saving that for I'm saving that for Fuku deals okay so we should be able to get a level up to level uh, 14 yeah That gave me quite a lot. So that's going to be 50.6. My injury and critical is actually about even. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, so we'll save that. I mean, there's not... Yeah, let's just go for these. We'll go for 10. Because I don't know if I'm going to get the 5k froggy or not. You know? So that'll just give me more stuff to buy. Um, let's see here. Actually, let me 50, 100, and 50, 200. Because there's some level 8 here that I still need to level up. Yeah, this would be way better to do. Yeah, we might as well just get all ninjas as cultivation packs, to be honest. Because I, I really don't care. I don't care about the ninjas too much. I just care about the battle power. Alright. Yeah, we jumped up a lot. Holy shit. another 90. Is there anything else I can level up? <clears throat> well, I think that's all the initiative for level 8. Shit, it is. Or is it? Yep, alright. Um, okay, I mean, I guess we should just... Let's just go for, like, data or something. Alright. Alright, that's some pretty good power gain. Definitely once I recruit Indra and Susanoo Shisui, that'll probably give me another... 150 initiative with the powerful item optional packs. I'll, I think we'll be able to hit 51k this event cycle. And then next week when Fukumaru deals comes, which it always will after Froggy, I should be able to hit 52k initiative maybe, even even 52k. That would be great. But if I can't, that's right. 34.6k in my position 1. I mean position 2 and 50.7k, so about uh, 300 initiative or something like that. I'm not sure. But stay tuned for the Indra recruitment video, which will be coming out this week, sometime this week. Uh, this has been an event pricing video. I will put up the prices right now so you can see.
But I hope you guys learned something from this video and have a great rest of your day or night. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.